Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com here to show you how to edit portraits with brown skin or black skin in Lightroom. Now, I'm going to be using my own Two Blooms presets for this demonstration, but you can use any presets that you like, any type of hand editing that you'd like. I mainly want to show you how you can use a preset and if it turns the skin color a little funky or unnatural, how you can um, even it out and get it back to its original tone. So let's get started. I'm going to be showing you two different photos with two different um, presets and ways to edit. So first I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to my Life in Color collection and I'm just going to click on Dazzling. That is one of my favorite presets. Um, you can see as I click that um, the background is a little bit cool in my opinion. So I'm going to come over here to the temperature under the basic panel and just bring up the temperature just a little bit. I tend to edit more on the warmer side, so I like to make sure that this back here looks nice and good. So you can see when I've done that, uh, the color of this girl's skin has changed dramatically. So we went from this raw image, really beautiful brown skin, and now it kind of has this orangish tone to it. So we're going to fix that, and I'm going to show you a really simple way. Now you'll find that if you're working with presets, um, it's not a one fit for every type of skin tone. Um, I like to create presets that work on various types of skin tones, but it's not going to be perfect across the board. So you're going to have to do some tweaking. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to show you with an adjustment brush how you can kind of smooth out the skin, add some more color back in, that's her natural color, and um, just fix up any kind of impurities, which she doesn't have any. She's a tween and her skin is beautiful, unlike us older people, right? Okay, so I have already created a brush here. It's um, I've gotten the exposure just slightly undone. Um, I've, down the exposure a little bit and then I'm going to kind of um, blur her skin a little bit just to make it a little bit more flawless what you could do that with the clarity slider and then down here I have chosen this peach color now you might be wondering why I chose this color but once you choose a color like this and you decrease the exposure it's going to become more of a brown um, especially when you decrease the exposure okay so this is just a starting point and you can see as I go over her skin it's going to bring some of that caramel color back into her skin. Now this is a little much but we can adjust it so don't you worry. So I'm just going to go over her face a little bit. I'm not really focused on perfection but for the sake of uh, showing this to you as a demonstration I'm going to go over her entire face here and maybe her ear. And I'll even go down towards her neck, okay? So this is just basic portrait skin smoothing um, with brown skin. Now this looks pretty overdone <laughs> in a word. So you can come down here and you can see what it does with the exposure slider. Exposure might be too much. Um, I can click on this color again and just drag it down this way. That's a little bit more pleasing to her skin tone. And also what I want to do is get on the saturation slider and just decrease that a touch. Now that's just going to take some of that orangeness that we got right here out of the brush. But I don't want to take too much color out just because I want there to be a little bit of color. So this looks pretty good. It softened up her skin a little bit. There wasn't really much to correct anyways. But you can see how her skin looks pretty good. Whereas before, I wish I had made a screenshot. I'll just go down in my history and I'll show you before we added the brushes and after. So not too much of a change, but just enough to kind of brighten her up a little bit and make her look a little bit more flawless. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. Go going to go down to the HSL panel. Now if you're finding that the skin just looks a little bit too much orange, you can come over here and adjust the sliders as is. So I'm just going to come over here to my luminance and I'm going to decrease the oranges a little bit and also the saturation. Just enough where 
um, it just takes that orange out. It's, you still have this pretty brown skin. And here, let's do before, whoops, and after. It just got rid of that um, orange tone in there. Now she has her beautiful skin that she started with, and I'm loving this portrait. Okay, so I'm just going to finish it off just by adding a little bit more contrast, maybe adding some whites, a little bit of contrast, maybe a little bit of vibrance. Um, I could adjust the exposure a tiny bit, not too much. I like the shadows here. But that's pretty much how I would edit a photo like this. So you went from this to this in just a few clicks, and then you can use the brushes in the HSL panel to get those skin tones looking great. Now with this one, she has beautiful brown skin and I don't really want to do much with it, but I'm going to show you that this collection, my Recollections collection, um, works really well with all different types of skin tones. Um, let's do Left to Wonder. What I love about this preset is it just kind of gives it a little bit of contrast. It decreases those yellows in the photo itself, so it's kind of a perfect preset to use with darker skin tones. So you can see her skin looks really great. Um, it's not orange, it's not yellow, it just kind of brightened everything and made it look really great. So I'm going to just add a tiny bit of contrast and maybe add more white. And that's pretty much how I would edit this photo, okay? I might even come up here and just give her a little bit of exposure in the face just to make her face pop a little bit and i think that's it so if you think that looks a little orange you can like i said before you can come down here to the orange slider and just kind of decrease that and you'll see before and after we got a little bit rid of that orange so that's even looking better to me all right, so we got the before after and both of these images and it really helps to just know your settings in Lightroom when you're editing different various different skin tones because like I said before, presets aren't a one click across the board for everybody. So you're gonna have to do some tweaking no matter what types of photos that you're editing. But um, I hope you found this tutorial useful. I will link up the presets to this video below. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and if it's going to help you editing your photos. And make sure you follow me here on YouTube for fresh Lightroom tips and tutorials. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.